Hey, all right, what's up everybody? Grim Green, back here today. Thank you so much for joining me again. Rebirth, RTA, we're doing it, we're doing it today. We're gonna talk about it, we're gonna tear it down, we're gonna build it, we're gonna, we're gonna gush. We're gonna gush a little bit over the Mike Vapes Rebirth RTA. This is a .17, dual aliens in here right now. I got the straight glass on, so it's a two mil capacity, but... <sighs> Uh, I'm gonna have to end up putting the bubble glass on there just because the two mil capacity, it's kind of just a bummer. I like the way this looks, just a bummer. I'm gonna need to use the bubble glass. First things first, it's a 25 millimeter RTA. It's a two mil capacity with the straight glass and a four mil capacity with the bubble glass, which is why we're going to switch to the bubble glass today. Also the filling method, super easy it's just a it's just a quick thread right there it's just like two tabs and two slots and you just press and twist press and twist 810 drip tip on there as well got that afc on the bottom it's nice and firm it doesn't click or anything but it stops at the open stops at the full closed and it's uh it's firm it stays wherever i want it to stay all right now let's get messy and take this apart oh look at that all right so that's about shit that's like uh two three weeks with that uh sad boy butter cookie liquid not horrible the glass comes off this all breaks down for real easy cleaning And there you can kind of get a good shot of the deck right there. Eh, maybe not. This is actually this is actually a really bad shot of the deck. In order to get a much better angle and shot of this deck, we're going to take all the parts. We're going to go back to the desk because it's re wicking time. These are all the parts for the Rebirth RTA. Let's take a look at this deck real quick. Really interesting deck. When I first got it, I thought it was just like a single coil banger. Like you'd put one single coil between those two posts, the positive and the negative. But it turns out two coils, dual coils fit in there. Yeah, perfect, perfect, just fine, perfect. There's a little bit of lead measuring that needs to go on. You kind of place them in there, cut your leads accordingly, and you kind of pull them off to the side to get them right in front of that airflow. This big airflow slot on the bottom leads right to these right here. These sort of like, uh, you know, raised airflows. And they got sort of tiny little holes all over them. That's more of a honeycomb pattern. And you can see some holes also uh, kind of right there facing inward. It looks a little wonky, but honestly what this translates into in the vape is just an incredibly smooth and flavorful RTA man and going around the whole edge you can see right here this little corner where this corner meets that's where you're gonna be stuffing your wicks down chimney branded right there rebirth o-ring on top and big kidney shaped juice fill holes and again I just really love this like half turn just quick release for the juice fill works I mean flawlessly I'm gonna go ahead and leave this build that I have in here right now because it's been working uh, it's been working awesome it's just some really simple fuse Clapton's they came out to a point one seven and they're all glowing beautifully and evenly so really the next step is i want to wick this because i want to vape it we're using cotton bacon prime today You can kind of see I just eyeballed where I trimmed my wicks. I just want to I just want to trim them enough just to get them into those little capture holes right there. And to those that sort of thin out or brush out their wicks, I haven't found that that is a necessity to do at all on this RTA. I just trim them and stuff them and and you're good to go. Just going to apply a bunch of liquid to these coils and wicks, make sure they're all nice and saturated before we screw it all together.
And boosh. There you go. Easily wicked, easily liquid. I'm gonna show you guys how I like to adjust the airflow. Pretty par for the course, but I like to turn my airflow down just a little. Just, just a little bit like that. I like it a little bit more restricted. Enough talking, let's get to vaping. I just can't help it. I love the capacity that bubble glass gives me. I just, I don't know what it is. I don't know what my hang up is with bubble glass. It just aesthetically, when I look at it, I every time I just say, I wish you weren't bubble glass. I wish you weren't bubble glass, but I wish you still had the bubble glass capacity, right? That's like the white whale of RTAs. You want as much capacity as you can, but I don't wanna personally have to look at the bubble glass, but I'm gonna look at the bubble glass and use the bubble glass because I like the bubble glass capacity that the bubble glass gives me. Bubble glass. It's just, it's just vaping so, so well. It's just so nice. The airflow, it's smooth. It's not sharp. It's not really turbulent. I get a little bit of turbulence from it, but I don't think that's the airflow. I think that's the coils like popping. I get like that. It's almost like a, like a helicopter sounding sound, just a and I think that's, I think that's my coils like popping in there. The combination of this very smooth, smooth honeycomb airflow with those like crackly coils, <laughs> it's, it's a great RTA experience. And like I said in the up close, you don't have to thin out or comb out your wicks. You certainly can thin out and comb out your wicks and it will probably wick even better. But as it stands, I just trim my wicks and stuffed them down in there. You just have to be careful not to clog. You don't wanna clog those like juice cups, you know, the, 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 what are we even calling those these days? The little holes in the deck that capture your wick so that it can be exposed to the liquid in the tank. Is there, is there a name for that? Wick holes, probably? Yeah, okay, wick holes. You just don't wanna like clog up those wick holes with a lot of cotton. It needs to have a little bit of room to breathe in there. It needs to have a little bit of room to dance around in there. Your juice can't be constricted by cotton. It needs to be, it needs to be helped by the cotton. It needs to, when the liquid meets the cotton, it just needs to be this harmonious, like they greet each other and then they just, the, it just the wicking takes over. And no matter how I do it, like I said, if I cut them and stuff them, if I cut them and thin them and stuff them, I, I get great wicking, I get great flavor every time. and it's great and I'm so confident that it'll keep up with the wicking that I can just take like these long, long, long drags and I don't worry. I mean, I don't worry about getting a dry hit. I don't worry about the wicking keeping up because it does it so well and just so consistently. That honeycomb pattern that he put over the airflow slots on the inside is just genius smooths it out so beautifully. I love it. I love the vape that I get from this RTA. And I know for sure a lot of people are gonna ask like, oh, well, what about the Profile RTA? Is this, is the is the Rebirth RTA better than the Profile RTA? Huh? Is it? Ugh. And here's what I'll say to that. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just different. It's just a completely different vaping experience. The Profile Mesh RTA, that Unity RTA, is much more like a sub-ohm tank style vape, whereas this is much more of like a fused Clapton's RTA vape. They're just, they're just different experiences. They both vape really well. I mean, really very well. They just are very different experiences. It's kind of like asking, well, what's better? A train or a car? Huh? Like, well, yeah, they, they both are just different travel experiences. You're both traveling. It's just, they're just two different experiences, I guess. That was a, that was a terrible analogy. I can't help it. I just love it. I like the products that Mike designs. He just designs good shit. I've genuinely liked everything he's released. I mean, yeah. 
I think everything he's released I've enjoyed, including the Rebirth RTA. If you've never tried an RTA, the Rebirth is a pretty solid place to start. It's real straightforward. If you're looking to upgrade your RTA, or maybe you're just a collector and you're a, and you're a vape nerd and you just wanna buy more stuff, Dude, the Rebirth RTA is not going to let you down in the overall quality of vape experience. And if we're gonna get down to brass tacks here, as it were, you're gonna need your vape budget hands if you're looking at the Rebirth RTA here. Uh, not really. Clicking around the internet, I found it anywhere like around 35 bucks. 35 bucks seems to be the price of this, which is not really in vape budget hands territory. Now, here's the hard question. If we're gonna play the Aliens game, where they have come and taken everything I have, and I have nothing left to vape. I got no tanks, I got no RDAs, I got no pods, I got nothing. Is the Rebirth RTA something I'm gonna seek out and buy right away? <sighs> Maybe. Here's the thing. My RTA hierarchy of RTAs that I love is getting all thrown around. There's just been some really good RTAs this year that have really surprised me. Like I have tried and true RTAs like that Reload Vapor RTA that I just love. Or things like that Serpent Elevate RTA. I just, I just love it. So for the Rebirth RTA, 35 bucks? Yeah, I mean... Shit, yeah, I'm gonna buy this. I'm I'm loving it. I'm loving the vape I get from it. I love it even more, like I showed you guys. Just turn down that airflow just a little bit, make it a little bit more restricted of a lung hit. Anyway, good lord, that's enough rambling from me. It is what it is. It's the Mike Vapes, Mike Vapes. I went this whole video without doing one Mike Vapes impression. That's unacceptable. What's up, peeps? Mike Vapes. It's the Mike Vapes Rebirth RTA. He killed it again and it's awesome and it's coming pretty highly recommended man but that is what i got for today links are not allowed in the description so you're gonna have to use your google foo but thank you so much for watching and as always you guys no matter what let's keep on vaping